Our first discussion round question is, who's a friend that you can always go to? My name is Makari and my friend is Manaya. She my friend because she nice to me and we just like, and we like kind of like the same and we be playing the same games and stuff. And yeah, we, we like close. Friends are really important. That's why that, I was the one that chose that topic. And we also play games with them. So, you know, that shy kids or like, you know, we could all get comfortable with each other. There's really no way to teach um, when there's a, a lot of conflict um, going on and when there's just no relationship between uh, peers and teachers. Them and the same with uh, the teacher asking, heck if a student's having a rough day, they can, if you have a relationship with them, you understand like, oh, was that what your, your big brother wants you to do or how would your mom uh, want you to deal with that situation? But you can't just approach a student without knowing anything about them. Respect the talking piece. Speak and listen with respect. Speak and listen from the heart. Remain in the circle and honor privacy. They came in and just did a, a tier one community building circle, just relationship building. You say something that applies to you. Like, you could say, um, I love my neighbor. Do you take a shower? You could go, I love my neighbor who took a shower this morning. <laughs> There's still, of course, the bullying and conflict, but the reaction that kids have and knowing uh, that adults can help and which adults to talk to and how to express uh, what they're feeling, a teacher always tries to uh, reiterate what the student just says to make sure she's understanding what they're feeling and that the other students understand what they're feeling, which is really important, but something that I don't think we consciously, as adults, think about doing with kids.